Hey everyone, it's Dan from Cyrus Reliance. On my channel, we're focused on helping the online money-making community find new and exciting ways to profit using our PCs and smartphones. Swagbucks is one of my favorite ways to earn online. It's a popular rewards-based platform that rewards users who complete various tasks on the platform. So these tasks range from completing surveys, watching videos, playing games, shopping online, and much more. This video will be your ultimate guide to earning on Swagbucks. I'll be breaking down the entire process I go through and highlighting how I make around 500 SB or £5 per day while still working a full-time job. Since starting Swagbucks, I've earned around £3,000 or 300,000 SB. And to make the actual journey easier for yourselves, I'm going to link everything mentioned in this video in the description so you can quickly navigate the site because when you first open the site, it can be really confusing. The top link in the description is a sign up link for Swagbucks if you haven't signed up already. If you click my exclusive link, you'll gain a 300 SB bonus once you've earned 300 SB on the site within 30 days of signing up. It's a great way where you can get on your way to earning that first voucher. And these 300 SB is actually £3 in value. So yeah, don't forget to sign up. So when you actually first log into Swagbucks, you may be thinking, where do I go? This is like information overload. There's just so much information jumping out at you. But I would always suggest heading over to the to-do list. So this is actually at the top of the page. And this is literally a list of eight items which you can do on a daily basis to earn some free money. So these items are normally things like complete a daily poll, complete a daily search, complete a survey, and many other ways. And I think this is a really good foundation to actually get you started on earning. Not to mention, if you complete so many actions in the day, you'll actually gain bonus SB for completing your to-do list. So if you complete six actions, you get around two SB. If you complete the entire list, you get around seven SB. So that's not too bad. And a lot of the time, you can just click through each activity. If you do start to struggle with certain activities, such as the daily discover or the daily survey, or even the daily search, in this video, we're going to break down how you can overcome that issue so that you actually maximize your earnings on the platform. To the left of the to-do list is something called the daily goal. So you get given a task where you have to earn so many square bucks in the day. And if you do this, you actually gain an additional bonus paid into your account on the 5th of the following month. It's literally a way where Swagbucks can reward loyalty on the platform. If you're using it every day, you can get some kind of rebate and some kind of discount on your next voucher by just logging in and completing these actions. Personally, I like to try and max out the to-do list and the actual daily goal every single day so that I can make as much money as I can using Swagbucks. It's something you should do too. One of the easiest ways to earn on Swagbucks has to be the daily poll. Literally log in, press the poll button, and then press one click and you'll instantly gain one SB. And it can be on a range of different topics and it's irrelevant what you pick. You'll always get rewarded one SB when you actually complete this poll every single day. The next way to earn is by actually playing games on Swagbucks, mainly playing their own game, Alu's Revenge. So this is a game where you have to match three of the same color shapes and you can get up to six SB per day. The way you actually make sure that you can maximize this is simply by playing the game, getting to 3,000 points, pausing the game, exiting, waiting 15 seconds, and then repeating. And then every two games you complete, you'll gain 2 SB for a maximum of 6 SB every day by playing Aldo's Revenge. If you have a spare Android phone laying around, Playtime Rewards is actually a great way for you to earn as well. So you can download games on Swagbucks, and then you can play games on your phone, and you can earn money by literally just playing these games whenever you want. And the best thing is, in some situations, these games are totally passive. You can download the games and just let it run and build up credit into your account and literally not have to touch the game at all. Playtime Rewards is a great way to earn and it's not to be missed. And you can actually earn up to 300 SB every single day by using Playtime Rewards on one of your old Android devices. And I've made a lot of money running Playtime Rewards on my phone farm over the last few years. On Swagbucks, you can actually use their search engine as a way to earn money as well. So the Swabbox search engine is powered by Yahoo and provides the same results as Yahoo. But the big difference is you can actually earn between 1 and 28 SB every single day by actually using it as a search engine. So you can earn three times a day on the daily search. So twice on one browser and one on another. So personally, I like to do two searches on Google Chrome and then the final search on Edge. And you should get your first search win between 8 and 10 searches, which will credit around 6 SB. And then an additional search win would be at around 30 searches and I'll give you 8 SB and then another 30 searches on your next browser for another 11 SB, which is fantastic. But wait, there's more. So if there's a special promotion on, maybe it's Christmas, maybe it's Valentine's Day, sometimes Swipebots can actually up the amount of money you make for these searches up to 100 SB per search. So that's one pound per search in some cases. Taking gold surveys is one of the most popular ways to earn on Swagbucks. So Swagbucks actually partners with various market research companies to offer surveys on a range of different topics such as consumer products, entertainment and even politics. 
and you can earn anything from a few SBs to a few hundred SBs per survey you complete on the Swagbucks platform. And that's fantastic, you know. I love being able to just give my opinion on something and get paid for it. But personally, I would only suggest doing surveys which pay at least five SB per minute. I should tell you so that you don't waste your time. Last year, I actually did several surveys on the platform, which was like 30 minutes for £12. And that was on a product review. So there's definitely some gems out there. But like I said, the number one rule is only do five SB per minute. And there's actually a setting in the Swagbucks preference tab on the survey part of the site where you can actually showcase by SB per minute. Another good thing though, is if you get rejected from any surveys, for the first five you actually do get rejected from, you'll actually still get a one SB added to your balance. A few years ago, Swagbucks released an application called Swagbucks Live. So every weekday, Swagbucks actually hosts a live game show with real money prizes ranging from $500 to $10,000, which is available globally. So Swagbucks Live can be accessed by downloading the application on the App Store and then just logging in. And you can take part in this quiz show. The one problem with Swagbucks Live though, is that if you live outside the US, it can be really awkward to actually attend these due to the time differences. So for example, in a lot of cases, it's at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 1 a.m. GMT. And a lot of people won't be up for that. But on a Friday evening at 8 p.m. GMT, there is actually a quiz which is available for everyone, which a lot of people should be able to attend because of time differences. It fits a lot of people's lifestyles. However, you may be thinking, I'm not good at quizzes. Why should I take part in this? First, if you're not good at quizzes, I would definitely suggest joining the Swagbucks Discord server. So this is a Discord server that has an active session called Swagbucks Live. And it's literally people there are telling you the answers to every single quiz. And the reason they do that is just because they want to share their knowledge and nobody knows everything. If you do end up winning in these quiz syndicates, you can actually get between 15 SB and 150 SB when you actually win. And the most I've ever won is actually 105 SB, which was at 1 a.m. on a Wednesday evening. If you still know that you're not going to be able to attend these quizzes, that's totally fine. It's definitely still worth downloading the Swagbucks Live actual application, though, because there's a new way to earn, and that's known as a daily trivia. So on this application, you literally log in at any time during the day and you can answer 10 easy questions and you can get rewarded by the amount of questions you get right. So if you answer four or five questions right, you'll get one SB. Six or seven, two SB. Eight or nine, three SB. And finally, if you get all 10 correctly, you'll get 10 SB paid directly into your Swagbucks account. The thing is as well, if you actually are available between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. GMT on a Friday, any earnings you actually earn through the actual daily trivia application will be doubled. And then after the event, <laughs> get paid again double bubble another thing to know about the swagbucks live daily trivia is that you can complete certain actions on swagbucks to gain another attempt at completing the quiz that means you can complete the quiz twice every single day if you complete certain actions now i think it's time to actually discuss something called swag codes so these are a few codes you can input into the swagbucks platform on a daily basis and you can get some free sb by doing that and you're thinking how can i find these codes well you're going to need a tool to actually detect them and that comes in the form of a application made by Swagbucks called Swagbutton. Now that you've actually got the Swagbutton installed, it's time to get these codes. So these swag codes are normally short codes, which are released between 3.30 and 4.30 p.m. GMT on either Swagbucks website, social media, or email and newsletters. So you'll normally receive a notification in the actual browser extension at around 4 p.m. and it'll state that a new swag code is live. Simply click the button and then it'll take you straight to the page and you can just copy and paste the code directly into the swag code box. So these swag codes normally range between 2SB and 100SB depending on what they're actually linking to. Is it a promotion or whatever it is. I now think it's time to discuss something called offer walls on Swagbucks. So these are different panels which Swagbucks works with to offer users more ways to earn instead of just things solely on the Swagbucks platform. And this allows users to actually earn more money than if they weren't there. So on these offer walls, you can normally download applications, take part in research studies, and even complete sign-up offers outside of the Swagbucks platform. And these will credit SB into your balance. Each task on these offer walls can range from 1 SB to 50,000 SB, depending on what is required and what you need to do as a user to earn these. But the one I really want to mention is something called Revenue Universe, known as Review on Swagbucks. And the reason why this is so good is because it offers something called CPX Research. So to find CPX Research, head over to the offer wall known as Review, scroll down until you find CPX Research, and then you're ready to go. So this is actually a survey platform outside of Swagbucks, but offers a high earning opportunity, and they're really quick to, to actually complete. 
But the best thing is, if you actually fail any of the surveys, you'll instantly get one SP every single time with no cap. And another great thing is, this actually adds on to the Squadbooks to-do list. Leading on from offer walls though, there is several offers you can do on Squadbooks, which are repeatable daily. So these may vary by region, but in the UK, we currently have two ways you can earn every single day, and they're known as job searches. So one is for three SP and another one is for one SP, and literally you can just click these offer walls and then do a quick job search and you'll easily get some quick money. Throughout each month, Swagbox actually offers a periodic promotion called Swago. So this gives users the chance to earn bonus Swagbox for completing various simple tasks on a bingo style board. So these simple tasks include completing a gold survey, visiting a certain site, and even completing a daily discover. And users can earn up to 1000 SB for completing a full Swagbox board depending on your location. Similar to Swago, Swagbox offers something called the Team Challenge, which pits users against each other for the chance of winning a rebate on their next gift card. To enter, you need to make sure you actually see the banner on the site, click that, make sure you opt in, and then you actually get allocated one of four teams. So this is the team you're going to work with, and you actually have to earn certain points on the platform, such as completing surveys, visiting certain platforms, adding certain things to your basket on Magic Receipts, and things like that. And if you do that, you can actually slowly start to accumulate points. And if you earn 300 points in that period, you will actually definitely get a rebate. So depending on your team's performance, you'll earn between 25 SB and 300 SB. Yeah, three pound. So Swagbox loves celebrating your birthday. So when it is actually your birthday, just make sure you keep your eyes out on your email because Swagbox will be sending you a little birthday treat. When you actually sign up for Swagbox, you have to input your date of birth. And then on your birthday, they'll actually email you a 50 SB discount on your next withdrawal. So yeah, you just need to keep your eyes on your emails and make sure you do actually activate it in your emails. Otherwise, you will not get it. On Swagbooks, there's actually a coupon rebate system for users referred to as Magic Receipts. So simply, you can log into Magic Receipts before you actually go to the supermarket and you can see what discounts are available on food and drinks for your area. If there's anything you actually want, you can add it to your Magic Receipts and then you go to the supermarket, you buy the product and then you'll get a percentage back when you actually upload your receipt to Swagbooks. So one thing I actually like to do on Magic Receipts is if I see a product which is 100% free and has a really good shelf life, I always buy it and I actually donate it to the local food banks near me. The reason is I like to help out the local community. On average, you actually earn between 25 SB to 700 SB from using Magic Receipts and getting the discounts from that. Whether you've used Magic Receipts or not, after you've got back from doing your shopping, you should always head over to the Swabbox application and upload your receipt there because you will gain one SB back for every single receipt you upload, no matter what it is, as long as it's from a supermarket. Just make sure the actual receipt is within 14 days of purchase and it's in their approved stores and then you're ready to go and you can earn an easy 1SB every time you go shopping in cashback. Speaking of cashback, you can actually use Swagbucks as a cashback platform, similar to something like Top Cashback. Simply find a store you're planning to purchase from, click the link and you'll be redirected to this platform where you can get a certain percent of your money back when you make that purchase. Personally, I like to compare different cashback sites so I can actually get the best rate possible and I choose accordingly. It's always worth shopping around to make sure you're getting the best rate and getting the best cashback you can on your purchase. So Swagbucks is a really good foundation to make money, but these aren't the only ways to earn online. If you go to my channel, you'll actually find out multiple other ways you can use your PC or your smartphone to make some additional income outside of just Swagbucks. Anyways, on screen right now is my two newest videos. I hope you have a great 2024 and I'll see you guys real soon.